Hey friends, and welcome to Interrogation. Basically, we are interrogating a woman based on some kidnapping crimes that have been happening. And as you'll see, she has a dark secret. Now, apparently this game has five different endings. I'm going to try to find them all, but either way, it's a game I'm excited to experience with you guys. Before we get started with the game, though, I would like to talk to you guys for a little bit. Now, of course, I don't know exactly what you're going through right now, nor am I aware of the trials and tribulations you face on a daily basis. Still, I think this is something that all of us would like to hear every now and again. Don't give up. If you're someone that feels frustrated, if you're someone that feels stuck, it can be very easy to put whatever you're trying to achieve on the back burner. In the moment, it feels easy to do this. The thought of pushing through can sometimes be overwhelming, but it's worth it to keep pushing and here's why. There will come a time where the trials you're facing right now are just memories. Memories you've learned from, memories that you think about every now and again. They won't be things that define the current state of your life, rather experiences that you've learned and grown from. I was so close to giving up on this, but I didn't, and now look what we have. I love you guys, and I hope you're safe. Here is Interrogation. Okay, introduction. For the past few months, there's been this patient. She was a victim of an abduction as well as a bizarrely unnatural homicide. Normally, she wouldn't be in our jurisdiction, but during her rescue, she attacked the police and tried to escape numerous times, which led her to being placed in our care. Then there's her behavior. Family members reported that she was acting differently. A total personality change. She's never provided any clear answers on what happened. Oddly, she suddenly made a request stating she was finally willing to talk. They put me in charge of her interrogation. I felt it'd be a good idea to ask the police for any evidence they were willing to share with me, given her history of being uncooperative with questioning. Thankfully, they let me have a binder containing some of the evidence they collected. Not all of it, granted, but hopefully it'll be enough to finally get the truth of what happened. Let's begin. Okay, I'm ready. Could you bring the patient in? Here we go. Now, before we get started, and this is her. give me your name for the record, please. Oh, yeah, sure. It's, uh, Heather. My name's Heather. Okay, time pause, patience folder. Interrogation tips. While time is limited, it's best to look through all the documents. Not all questions have a contradiction. Proceed to the next question if nothing seems to be wrong to avoid wasting time. Avoid picking things that aren't contradictions. All it does is make you lose time. If you're out of time, you can no longer browse for information. Use your tape recorder to rehear the last thing the suspect said. Okay, we can skip contradiction or select contradiction, skip dialogue, show hide binder. Okay, and we can cycle between pages. Interesting. This is Darcy Widow. Patient was a victim of abduction. During her rescue, she acted out and assaulted the police, heavily injuring a few officers. She was planned to be held temporarily while being given therapy, but after numerous attempted escapes and continued attacks on people around her, she was committed to this facility. Patient has proven not to be completely honest with doctors. Many staff have reported that her claims and information are incorrect. Currently, the patient seems to give no indication that she has any known disorders, rather that her constant lying is in order to hide something. Due to her frequent violent outbursts and escape attempts, she has been confined to a wheelchair during any and all activities. Okay, this is page two out of four. Oh, there we go. Letter from police department. We're sorry to say that due to the active status of investigation, the police are unable to provide any notes from investigators. However, the precinct is willing to work with Innsmouth. Uh, Innsmouth? That's the facility she is from in some capacity. So we've sent you a binder containing any evidence we aren't currently using. We hope this is ample support to help you with your interrogation of the patient. Okay, so here's the police report regarding the actual event. Officers responded to a 911 call about individuals entering an abandoned house. Upon entering the premises, officers found one living victim in the body of an identif unidentified individual. Judging by the state of the two, it's estimated that they had been here for just a few hours. The surviving victim had been restrained to a chair. She was conscious and cognizant, but would not answer questions. The body of an unidentified girl was discovered, just a few feet from the survivor. Both individuals arrived at the same time based on the state of their clothing. The body was in an unnatural state. The entire body, including limbs, were twisted and deformed, and was in a state that closely resembled late stages of decomposition. Hmm. The identity has yet to be determined due to these factors. 
actions taken. Following the survivor's rescue, she immediately assaulted the police officers present, leading to two police casualties due to severe injuries. Oh my goodness, she's killed two people already. The woman was quickly detained and medical support was called, but she has been uncooperative with questioning. A Virginia ID was found on the scene, so present staff will be looking into why she's here and notifying any family. Okay. So how do we... Move forward? Just as time paused? Oh, yeah, sure. It's, uh, there we go. Heather. My name's Heather. Okay, Heather. Uh, her name's Darcy. Oh, I see. They're teaching us the game. That's not what it says in your patient record. Oh, right, right. Heather's, uh, just a nickname of mine. It's Darcy. Sorry for the confusion. Right. You aren't from around here, are you? Could you tell me what state? State? Uh, sure. It's Pennsylvania. No, she had a Virginia... License plate. That's not true. Or a Virginia ID. The police report says you're from Virginia, though. Ah, oh, right. Sorry. I always get Pennsylvania and Virginia mixed up, you know? Because they are so close. Are you talking to me of your own volition? Yeah, yeah, what? of course. I just want to give my side of the story. Of your own volition? Give her side of the story. Um... Yeah, it's fine. All right, thanks for that information. It's just a formality for the records. Yeah. So she's already um, lied multiple times. That way. Now, we don't have all the time in the world, so I won't bother you with going over the details. To keep it short, I need to ask you some questions about the university and your abduction. Okay. Hi. All right. That's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, your abduction. Sure Are you... you remember? Okay. You requested this meeting. The police have provided me with a binder containing some of their evidence which I'll be using to make sure you're taking this discussion seriously. They told me that you were quite uncooperative during initial questioning. It's just to make sure. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you for uh, agreeing to this. Okay, so first of all. There's something definitely wrong with her. Your experience at university. Yeah, yeah. I was abducted at Harbor University. Which is where I went to. It was, uh, is that fine. true? It's not as if my grades were bad or anything. I got on well, I guess. Until the, um, abduction. I'm, I gotta check that in her folder. Uh, an abandoned house. Oh my gosh. Oh! That's... Oh, we have access to a lot more information now. Harbor University. Um... Darcy submitted a complaint to the front desk about a student. Oh, yeah. See, the time is ticking. Um... I don't know if this is anything... Okay, next question. It's a fairly big university. With lots of fields and classes... What did you major in? My major? Um, well, I took a bachelor's degree. I feel like this is a lie. So I took a lot of classes that weren't part of it, but... Management. Was, um, management. Okay, yeah, student major, management... No! Her man- her thing was literature. Your college records state that you majored in literature. Uh-oh. Um, I guess that was just a mistake. Yeah, no, I majored in literature. How many lies? Yeah, it's just kind of all over the How place, many lies? You know? Did you make any friends during your time at university? Any strong relationships with anyone? I mean, of course, I had a couple of friends. Are you asking if I had a that might be true or something? I never really had any strong relationships with anyone. So mostly just acquaintances. Honest. 
mostly just um acquaintances. Uh so she's paired with someone named Heather on an assignment. Darcy expressed discomfort with Heather. Okay. Anthropology professor. I was able to get my hands on the plane tickets. Wait, what? So what's the deal with this professor? James, the anthropology professor at Harbor University, has not shown up for work in quite some time and has failed to report these absences to the university. Neither the police nor university staff have been able to get in touch with him, and a search of his home has not yielded any results. Persons wanted for questioning related to potential involvement in the abduction of university student Darcy Widow and the homicide of an as-of-yet unidentified female victim. It's thought that he might be dangerous, so caution should be exercised when confronting him. So... I was able to get my hands on the plane tickets. Why are him and Darcy getting on a plane somewhere? Exit out of state. These plane tickets seem to suggest Yeah, she's going on a plane with someone. Ah, right. Yeah. The Yeah, those me and the professor weren't, um, super close, I guess. Yeah, you're flying together? I call it a strong relationship. He was the one who bought the tickets anyway. Can you think of any reason why you might have been abducted? No, I something's going on. I have no idea. I mean, it's not like I'm rich or anything. My parents don't, um, don't make too much money, so... I can't imagine they wanted something... I think there might be information about her parents. Anything. In the files. Let me go ahead and just take a quick look. We don't want to waste too much time here. Um, Virginia's father, Alan Widows, made a public statement about his plans to file a lawsuit. Let's see. So, he'll be taking on the lawsuit alone, citing his own career history as one of Virginia's most successful lawyers? Is yeah, right. A highly successful lawyer? Oh, uh, yeah. he is, isn't he? Okay, well, this is really cool. I still wouldn't say makes me feel like a detective. He makes Do you guys like much. games like this? Were you responsible for the death of the other person in that room? What? No way, of course, I wasn't. Like, technically it's light on gameplay, but body? the How gameplay is that? deduction. Let me, let me get a replay of that. What? No way, of course, I wasn't. Did you... Did you see what happened to that body? How could I have caused that? How could I have caused that? Yeah, I don't think I have anything to say here. When you were abducted, was there another person at the She's gonna lie here. The corpse? Um, it's a little hard to remember, but I'm No, it was two sure people. It was just me and the two other people during the uh, kidnapping. Nope. Not true. Local teenager turning home from a late stay. Couldn't get a clear view of the people coming from the car. They did report they heard what sounded like a girl calling for help. Okay. So, let's look at the police report. Unidentified girl, few feet from the survivor. Let's see. Following the survivor's rescue, she immediately assaulted the police officers. Um, maybe this is correct. No, okay, I am going to proceed to the next question. Were you question. involved in what happened? Um, are you joking? I already told you. How could I have been involved in, in that? Most people with no involvement don't attack the yeah, police. Yeah, she attacked the police. To you can't be serious. I was in shock. I had just been abducted and there was a dead body. I wasn't thinking right. You don't seem to have been doing a lot of thinking right. You're still trying to avoid the police, and even after requesting... Okay, now we're speech, going on the attack. ...lie and mix yourself up with another person. Make it make sense, Darcy. If that's even who you are. I'm starting to think you don't even know yourself. Wow. Look, look. That I'm changed. Just, uh, not in the, the right headspace. Just 
Just give me a moment, and I swear I'll um, I'll tell you everything. Okay. Sorry, but I just don't have time to be led around with lies and excuses. I'll get one of the staff members to take you back to your cell and check back in a week. That should be enough check time back to in a week. Straight. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh. I don't, I don't have a week. I need to talk to you now. So then I'm tell sorry, me. But our time is up. I can't let, let you leave. leave. What? What the, um, what the hell is going on? Sorry, but I don't have much what the time hell is going before on? it finds me. I need you right here, right now. What? Not what much time exactly before it finds you? me? Well, I guess there's not much point in hiding it. I'm not exactly human. I suppose you could call me an entity. Okay. One using this body to hide in your world. I'm losing control of my grasp on this reality, though, and I need your help to fix it. Right. Does this have anything to do with the crime scene? Reading this means that you're now trapped in that thing's pocket reality. It won't let you leave until it gets what it wants, and if you refuse to do so, it will result in the end of all life as we know it. However, after rigorous research, I can say that there is a third option. First, you need to have a symbol present during the event, then try to find ways to con contradict the entity as best you can. I couldn't explain why, but for some reason, being confronted seems to break its hold just enough for the symbol to reveal a four-word code phrase. When all four words are revealed to you, say them aloud directly to it. Godspeed, and best of luck to you. Um, hold- okay, if you're reading this, it means I'm gone. Given everything I've involved myself in, I can only hope I'm just dead. Any alternatives are too chilling to consider. All I can offer are my deepest apologies for what I've done. The one that forced my hand on these awful deeds made me feel as if I had no choice but to follow orders. I wish I could tell you everything, but even just writing this is a great struggle. I can only say this, it wasn't my choice and I hope to make this right. So the professor... was kind of dealing... with some kind of... Lovecraftian horrors, it seems. Not just your average professor. So... Okay. I don't think we have anything to say for this, though. You mentioned something trying to find you. What's trying to find you? Where I'm from, there are powerful beings that even I'm hesitant to describe. That even something like me shouldn't bother. I but see. I did. And now it's after me. And I'm not just going to let it take me. So I'm hiding from it. You're hiding from it. Are you though? You probably are. What was the real reason behind your relationship with the professor? He was just someone that knew about the world and was willing to help me. I can't afford to get caught. It's a far greater issue than you think. I don't believe that at all. I was able to get my hands on the plane tickets. Yes. Says something quite different. A confession. All right, so I had to do a bit of coercing, but still, he helped me prepare for rituals and events, as well as other things. I needed his help. I had to be assertive. Where is the professor now? He is no longer in this reality. He was taken to another. Another He's reality? During the last event, while setting something up. Not sure if he could get back or not. Not sure if he can get back or not. So... C-H-A-N. Alright. I don't 
think there's anything to contradict the there. Reason for this abduction? I wouldn't call it an abduction. No one was forced into it. It was just a ritual to help maintain my control and keep me hidden. I don't believe that because you were tied to a chair. No. That wasn't the right answer. Say the two SMA had been there for a few hours. Girl calling for help? Witness who testified yes! Otherwise. That's Girl calling uh, for help. Well, Whoa! I was losing control of my body. I needed to be handcuffed so I could be taken care of. That's all. A Were you handcuffed? So what happened? Bruh, okay. We ran out of time She's just lying through her teeth now. The being I'm hiding from, the hunter, got to him. The hunter? And well, you see why I'm on the run. The being we're running from, the hunter, how do we know? Chan, eel. Oh, we're getting the code phrases. Um. The hunter. But how do we know? How do we know, though, that it's the hunter? Part of me feels that... Part of me feels that this... I don't- I don't think we have anything to contradict. Why? Was there a third person at the event anyway? It was just something the professor decided at the last minute. No reason for her to be there at all. No, not true. Um, Darcy submitted a complaint to the front desk about a student named Heather Baker. Said she assumes Heather's trying to be friendly and make small talk, but finds some of the questions unnerving. She wanted to say that she didn't report this directly to the professor. No, it's wrong. I knew that was wrong. I don't know why I clicked on it. What is going on with my... It's flip-flopping all around. I thought I was going crazy at first. And look at... Is the picture changing too? She wasn't supposed to be there. I don't believe that. This email seems to say it was yeah, it was planned in advance based on the email. Oh! Why are we talking about this third person? They aren't important. Can't you see there are bigger things going on right now? Did you even know who that classmate was? Nobody important. Probably what? just one of the professor's students. I've got no idea who she might be, to be honest. No, that's not true. You were working on a project with her. We're getting to the bottom of this. We're figuring it out. The Scooby-Doo crew. These records seem to show that you two did a class assignment together. Plus, there was the confusion over names earlier. You called yourself Heather at first. I... Are you serious? Ooh. How is this remotely important? Were you not listening when I said we don't have a lot of time? Listen. It's cracking. We are out of time. I'll need you to recite this incantation to hide me from the hunter. Leg line. No, that's not the right in incantation. If the hunter gets me, it will have an opening into this world. It will destroy all life as you know it. No question. You're the danger. Save the world. And the incantation you're trying to get me to say is going to doom us. Nothing else that can prevent this. There is no other way. You have to make the decision. No. I got a different incantation for you. According to this, I can say this. Something special our late friend cooked up. Wait, where did you? How do you know that? Oh no. Oh no. no. <laughs> oh. What? What happened? A spider right? got her? Did I do it all right? All right. Great job. 
Ending one out of five. In the end, that thing vanished along with any danger it had caused. I don't know if I made the right call, but I made my choice and I'm praying for it. After everything that happened during the interrogation, the investigation naturally went on. Went on to what happened to the patient. Of course, I was the prime suspect in her disappearance. There was no point telling them what really happened. Who would believe me? Either way, what I said was irrelevant. Now I'm a patient in the very facility I work for, subject to countless interrogations. Stuck in captivity, I'm left to wonder, did I make the right choice, or will that thing return? I think we should go get some of the other endings. Okay, so for this one, I literally just kept clicking proceed to the next question. This is ending four out of five. I couldn't just stay there anymore. Thankfully, before I left, I was able to get someone to fill in for me, but it seems as though he had no luck with her either. I was hoping I could return to her with a clear head, but... That was never going to happen. Just a few hours after the interview, she was found dead with her body in the same state as the one at the crime scene. So yeah, nothing special happened for this one. Just clicked it all. Then the screen, screen eventually came up. Okay. This time we're going to say her incantation. Let's say it. All right, fine. I'll say it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> My thanks to you. <laughs> so creepy. I love the art in this game, first of all. What? Was that the professor? What happened? Why the hell can't I move? I've done all I can with the patient, but she still refuses to cooperate. She needs what? some time alone, so please... Don't disturb her. I'll be back with some staff to escort her back to her cell. This can't. This can't be. That's not me. Don't listen to it. Oh. Not me they switched to. bodies. Ending three out of five. Those were my last words before the pain hit me. A pain too agonizing to even describe. Soon followed by my bones bending like they were made of soft rubber. It felt like my skin was being pulled from every opening possible. My last seconds on Earth were torturous, and all I could think about was whether this is how I would die, or if I would continue to feel this horror wherever this thing was taking me. So, the same result, the twisting body, happened to the interrogator, unfortunately. Okay, so this time, Sorry, but I... I'm just going to mash what proceed to the next question, well, and see what happens here. What was he was... Where is he? Um... It might just be the same thing where we have the incantation. Why? It was just. Come on. Okay. Recite it. So I'm gonna try to recite our incantation. Incomplete. I suppose an action is a choice of its own. In action. Sorry, but this is just too much to handle. This is a new ending. Here we go. Wow, at least I won't be alone on the end of the tour of suffering. Huh? And now it comes for me as well. It's some, like, giant spider eldritch being, ending 2 out of 5. I only lasted a scant few seconds, but I remember the horror that I let into our world. Whatever that thing I interrogated was, it was telling the truth about one thing. The being that hunted it was so much more powerful than it was. The worst part wasn't the agonizing pain of my body being devoured by that thing, or even the lingering thoughts of whether I'll be suffering like this forever. No, the worst part was that I could vividly hear the billions of people screaming in torment as they met the end I had mistakenly unleashed on them. That is some dark stuff, but we still have one more ending. And for the last ending, check this out. At the introduction screen, instead of beginning the interrogation, forget this. You just leave. I'll leave them to someone else. I'm taking today off. Taking a sick day. And to be honest, a pretty good day to put in that sick day request. Gamers, this was a very cool and unique concept for a horror game. I like the idea of, you know, interrogating someone you know is guilty. I think. You know, that premise has worked in other games, but applying that to, like, an eldritch horror game is absolutely fascinating. So this was a blast to play. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.